This 30 minute thriller saw Melbourne produce one of their greatest ever wins when it came back from 34 points down against Geelong in Geelong where they hadn't tasted success in 17 years. Big things were expected from the locals as Nathan Ablett made his debut and their team looked for a spot in the top four. But Russell Robertson and his teammates had other ideas and an upset was on the cards as we pick up the action at the start of the final turn. Up by Wan, a perfect bounce in the centre. Won by White, Shark by Ling, hoists it high towards half forward. Foot race, can someone get to it? Johnson tries, Cart, Bizzle. Handball was ineffective. Milburn scrags a kick inside, attacking 50. Out comes Ferguson. Nathan Ablett hot in pursuit. Now a chance for Tanase. He uses Nathan Ablett. Gets around Rigoni. Chips it short. Cameron Ling is marked. And a good start in the opening seconds of this final turn by the Cats. Good work from Nathan Ablett. And more injury concerns there. Kane Tanase limping away. From that incident, he was dragged down. But good presence and good composure shown by Nathan Ablett. Cameron Ling from just inside 50. Loads up. It's got plenty on it. It's home. The Cats back in front. Geelong insert inside 50 again, play fair, and also Holland playing tricks there. 40 out from goal, over the top, Burns, Ferguson trying to pluck it out of the pack. Will it come out the other side? It does. Whelan, but it's all Geelong out there on the wing. Crowd screaming and yelling as Mooney gets to his feet. Tanase, who we saw, look a little hurt before, out of the clutches of Davy, and that's not an easy thing to do. The pressure was good, though. McLean from the turnover. Rook now got to Motlop. He's given away the free. Free to Motlop. Just for a little bit of manhandling. The initial part of that contest. He bombs it away. Up towards Robertson. He'll drop a bit shorter. Corey was strong. Scarlet steadfast as always. It's just outside 50. It's a tense time at Spilt Stadium. Geelong 77, Melbourne 74, early minutes of this final quarter. And Clint Bizzle has got the big job on Steve Johnson. Motlop came through, Corey, Bartel, Ling, just continues to generate possessions. Kulariadis escapes and gets it back. Well done to Ling and now Kelly. Downfield, will it be paid or will it come back? There was no advantage to Geelong. It has to go back. It won't. Holland, meantime, drives it to Johnston, who escapes and kicks. Robertson's coming. Corey with a lunge, but he couldn't stop him. He great couldn't kick. stop Russell Robertson. A great kick by Travis Johnson. He moves it quickly. Oh. He misfires. And this could set up a Geelong move forward. Mooney hesitated. He always knew they were in trouble because Davey was around. Well done by Mooney. Was composed. Ablett didn't go at the back Whelan, but he's facing the wrong way. And he'll try and kickstart the Ds. Whelan from centre half back. Kicks it out wide. It's a wobbly old kick, but it gets to McLean. Got plenty in board if he looks. Who marks it half back to Maloney. He can go around Gary Ablett from the centre of the ground. Kicks towards half forward. Coming out. Well done, Corey. Worked to the front. Couldn't hold on. Chance for Scarlett. Oh, he just brushed Godfrey aside. And then kicks with the left boot. Couple here. Ablett wants to play on. No one stands them up. Maloney's got to go to him. He does it pretty well, Maloney. Ablett chips to his brother. What a great kick from Gary Jr. And 50. 50. And 50 metres. Listen so to the crowd. A certain, a certain goal to Nathan Ablett. Let's have a look at that. That was... This is Scarlett. who brushed Godfrey aside. And from there was Gary Ablett, who... See Maloney there. Maloney had to go to him, try and put some pressure on I think Ablett, the, delivered to his brother. Just on the 50, Chris, I'm certain the Melbourne blokes thought that ball was touched off Gary Ablett's boot. So, Whelan, the offending player. Nathan Ablett, thank you very much. He kept his second. Cats by nine points. What a noise they're making at Skilt Stadium. If they had a roof down here, it would have been lifted off. 83 plays 74. 
Plenty of time for the Demons, but the Cats suddenly have got more zip and running their legs. Whelan. Oh, well done. He was the martyr that time for the Demons. Got up, put the handball away. Reed, it's a hot potato. Wheatley over the top, he's wrapped up. And there's another, another casualty, it's Whelan. Yeah, he's in massive trouble, Hutto. He paid one for the team then, he took it for the side. Great courage, great courage shown by Matthew Whelan. Well, they reckon the contact and the toughness has gone out of the game. you just got to come and watch this today. Maloney tried to barge through. Mooney said no way. Charging forward, Milburn. He's been quiet today. Here's Nathan Ablett again. Ferguson. Cat's careful not to oh, give well away the done. free. And now Davey can escape. Off half back. He's got three to beat and he beats them. Hands down. Well done, Aaron Davey. Through the middle, the handball wasn't so good. Wheatley might give it back to Davey. He doesn't. He pokes it instead to Motlop. Davey keeps on running by his side. Now Robertson makes his move. Instead, he goes out wide to Maloney. Maloney's a thundering kick. Robertson read it beautifully. The ball dropped, and he read it off the boot superbly. Russell Robertson, great skill. Yeah, he did. I don't know whether Maloney just meant to put it out in front because he saw the Geelong defenders running back towards the goal square. And uh, I, I thought it was a really well-placed kick. There's the wheel and injury. We just have a look at this build-up. I think he might have just been pushed off the kick. Well judged by Robertson. Either way, he's kicked 4-3 today, Russell Robertson. He can drive this through for his fifth goal to keep the Demons right in the mix. Darren Milburn, just 10 possessions today, boys. He's had a wonderful season, averaging 20 possessions a game. So Mooney and White, lock arms, White, Godfrey off a step. McCarty off him, ricochets to Burns, kicks to a central location, Steve Johnson, he's clever, he always finds the football, chips it towards Kingsley! He's been outstanding today, Steve Johnson, and he used it there again very effectively, 17 disposals, 9 marks for Johnson. Well, his usage was superb here, but a terrific mark by King Kings. He looked as though he was going to run underneath the ball, but uh, just took Nicholson out of the equation, jumped early, and just fifth, protected the ball with his body. Fifth mark inside 50 today for Kent Kingsley. 15 all in all for the Cats, 9 to Melbourne. He's kicked 22 goals in six games against Melbourne. He's kicked three, now he's kicked four. Cats further in front. It's a day when the wounded are doing all they can to get back out on the battlefield. All or nothing for the Demons as far as their season is concerned. 15-5 to 11-14. The Cats in control for the moment. Riccardi gets them going again. Harry Ablett didn't get a great bounce. Kept his feet and might get another chance from the Kelly handball. Wheatley was clever, used his body. Geelong have numbers here, but Bell too good on that occasion. Bizzle. Former Cat, of course, once kicked six for Geelong. And there's Egan, who's had a good day today, Sos. Well, he has. He's been uh, taking a few marks across half-back, doing a really good job on Miller at the moment. Generally not a high-possession player, uh, only, I think, averaging five possessions a game. But he's had 11 today. He's done a good job. Mooney, White with the delicate touch. McLean tried to get a hand on it, couldn't. Cat's got it out, but Travis Johnston, who's been wonderful today, Got it away and goes for Armstrong. Hanging on was the call. And so Steve Armstrong with the goals beckoning and also Aaron Davey. Quite incredible that the umpire that gave that decision for holding on was actually in general play with that stoppage watch where the other umpire was in the forward 50, didn't give the decision, was only probably 15, 20 metres 20 meters away. It's called being unsighted. Unsighted. Apparently. <laughs> Aaron Davey. To reignite the D's, he's clapping it off the boot, he's happy, they're right in this. So nine points the difference, centre breaks in this quarter, 6-0 in favour of the Cats. So Cameron Mooney doing a wonderful job. Out of the centre, he'll go at it again against Jeff White, Mooney gets it. Riccardi, handball, intended for Bartel. 
Made it a little hard for him, so a centre clearance for the Demons. Davey towards half forward. Out comes Uze. Good handball out wide. Maloney got time to stop. Steady. Delivered towards Robertson. And Russell Robertson will kick from 35 metres on a about a 30 degree angle. And Brett Maloney again great setting up. It was another great kick. He's done it a couple of times. Only had a brief moment and waited superbly. Russell Robertson from 35 metres kicks a goal! Marching back to three points. Russell Robertson, an equal career best, six goals. Would Bomber Thompson be thinking again of putting Scarlett back to full back? So, oh, I think so. I think like, he's the guy that's going to win the game for him, Robertson. Scarlett playing across centre half back at the moment. You might even see him on screen at the moment. Was that too high? It was, and it's coming back in the middle. So suddenly the Demons, this game is swinging from one way to the other. Suddenly the Demons have got the run and the zip. Problems continue for the Cats. Uh, Hutto Hunt's come off, and there's no doubt that Cooler Riders is favouring a groin out there. Well, here's Maloney. He's got away, and he can take the mark. Well, it's danger now. He's a big kick of the ball. Perhaps this one might just be beyond him. Right to the line, Robertson, Uze, Johnston's down, Travis Johnston's got it, can he find the room, can he find the space, he got crunched, is it a free, no it's okay, it's all clear, it's a behind, and now there's only two points in it, they can't bear to watch some of the locals. So the Cats have a chance here, Sanderson from fullback, that's what's ahead of him. Still plenty of time left, just a couple of points in it. Long towards Egan, can't take the mark. Maloney, Reed concedes ground. Miller can set something up here. Kick around the body. Uze couldn't take the mark. At the back, chance for the Cats to bring it out. Rook knocks it dangerously back into the corridor. Armstrong over the footy and umpire calls for it. So Brendan Sanderson in jumper number 54. Double his normal number after he was taken off with the blood rule a little earlier. Uze from hard up against the oh. boundary. Oh, he's kicked across oh. the face. Good mark taken by Scarlett. <laughs> Got me excited there for a second, Sos. Wasn't to be. Tenace drops an easy mark. Great tackle from Davey. Support provided by Burns. Get away now. Bartel kicks towards the lead of Milburn, who marks centre field. Wants to get on with it quickly. It's been paid at a frenetic pace. Burns with speed and pace. Runs through the front of the centre square. Look out, you're gone. Dropping the ball. Free kick Melbourne at centre half back. Wheatley moves it quickly. Out to Bizzle. He's got a man at half forward Armstrong. He is in metres of space. Trailing him Scarlett. Geelong need to get Scarlett back surely to the last line where he plays his best footy. Here's the danger man, Robertson. Oh. He's got it over, Rook completely. Russell Robertson from the top shelf. He can put the Demons in front and kick a career best seven goals if he nails this one. Well, it's his ninth mark inside 50. And as you mentioned, Hutto, there's no doubt that Matthew Scarlett needs to go back and play on it. He has dominated in the air for the Demons up forward. And he's been the man to convert. Melbourne are in front. A stun-skilled stadium. Russell Robertson has almost single-handedly fought the Demons back in front. They lead by four. And there's just under seven minutes remaining. So back in the centre. White up against Mooney again. Chance for Ling. Handball chopped down. He'll get a free kick though. Perhaps a little lucky. Advantage paid. Mooney bursts from the centre. Kicks onto the lead. Kingsley. Oh, this is unbelievable stuff. The intensity, the pace of the game is outstanding. And Ken Kingsley now with an opportunity to put the catch back in front. Great kick coming in from Mooney, Steve. Well, he was good out of the middle there, Mooney. Competing in the ruck and was able to follow up with a fantastic kick. So Kent Kingsley has kicked four goals one coming in for his fifth from right on 50 
It's swinging back, but not far enough. So the margin in favour of the Demons, three points. Some stunned fans here at Skilled Stadium. Melbourne haven't had a close game this year. Their closest, a 14-point loss to Fremantle. Their nearest win was an 18-point win over Carlton. Geelong have had three close ones, four-point wins over Adelaide and Port Adelaide, and a nine-point loss to Frio. Centre-half back. Here's the location. Make it centre-half forward now as the Cats get the turnover. Burns has been busy. Hurry kick from Tenace is all right. Ablett! Gary Ablett! Oh, misses to the left. And inch by inch they climb back. Two points the difference again. A precious situation these now, the kick-outs. Wheatley with a job at fullback for the Demons. That's what's ahead of him. Pretty crowded, so he just decides to take the easy option into the back. It's pocket. the safe one. It's the safe <laughs> one, Chris Arn. It certainly is. Travis Johnston's been outstanding, coming in for possession number 21. Kicks dangerously towards halfback, but it comes off. Bell. It's centre half back for the Demons. Daniel Bell, just possession number six. Kicks out wide. Miller, he gave a contest. Wants the boundary line. And Mooney kicks it over. So a Melbourne free kick. Well, that might have been Melbourne. Melbourne it was. So Brad Miller with the footy. Right centre wing. In front. The New Eastern stand. Pretty tough at the moment. Every player has an opponent. So Miller decides to go long. Contest, Holland, and in front, good mark taken by Bartel. In fact, a free kick coming back to Egan. So Egan to take it at half back for the Cats, just chips it out wide. And Milburn, there's the five minute warning. Five minutes of actual game time to be played here. Demons by two. Milburn chips it back inside to Bartel, point of the square, left half back. Decides to switch play, almost dangerously. Corey had to make a contest, he did. Robertson and Scarlett. Robertson's doing it both ends. Now Davey. Davey chips it short, loose player. Motlop in the centre of the ground. Motlop, oh, he's hit late by Milburn. Is that downfield? No. Godfrey. Godfrey and Bartel. Godfrey just knocks to the line and is happy to see it over. Boundary throw in at half forward. And going back, Motlop and Milburn. It was a... Late hit by Milburn, but umpire said it was okay. Maybe just as he got rid of it, but it was right on the line. Nathan Ablett coming off the ground, replaced by Playfair. Meantime, back in the action, it's the Demons with control. White sends it forward. Uze! He's on the right side for a left footer. Well, he'll take his time here. Had him Uze who has spent so much of the year in the forward line after so much of his career as a midfielder. Of course, 198 consecutive games with the Demons. Six possessions, just the one behind today. And he's got a behind, which it all counts. We're inside the last five minutes. Melbourne holding on to a three-point lead. Now, this Their season is on the line. Now, Hutto, this is the time you don't want to be a fullback. I can tell you, only minutes to play. And the last line is probably the worst line to be on. Well, Josh Hunt has got that responsibility for the Cats. Tenace breaks. And the kick is a well-placed one from Hunt. He's got nothing on, but he automatically drives it up to a Kelly Wheatley battle. Kelly outnumbered, gets some support to Nace, throws his body over it. Maloney wrapped up and the line saved him. Otherwise it would certainly have been holding the ball. But it was over, right decision. Three points the margin. It's a time not to make mistakes. It's a time for heroes as well. Reed, the Demons will be happy to lock this up. The umpire tries to keep it going. 26 and a half minutes gone. Final quarter from Skilled Stadium. This game's had it all. Bounce on the wing, White knocks it out wide. Taken by Corey towards half forward. 
Out comes a good well done by Miller. He read it brilliantly. And he marks on his chest at half back. So Melbourne still a few minutes left. We're inside the final five minutes of actual game time. Play on, play on called now as he just kicks it long and high towards the wing. And almost a good mark taken by Bartel, but it spills off his hands and over. So a boundary throw in on centre wing. The Cats have got it all to do. They led by nearly six goals midway through the second term. White from the back, wins it forward. Reed tries to crash his way through. Can't. Oh, he's oh, been pinned for throwing it. Oh, dear. Not sure about that. We have another look at it. He's, he doesn't know either, Phil Reed. Kick towards half forward. Almost a mark to Miller. They dive in on top of the football. Maloney's got it. Needs to get it out. Umpire says, give it to me. Umpire win. So a bounce, 40 metres from Geelong's goal. As time continues to tick away. Uh, he's good umpiring. He did throw it. I'm with Nick Crusoe. Mooney up high. We were blindsided, Steve. <laughs> so umpire win calls for it again. Geelong in a goal-scoring position here. Can't be too long left. Perhaps a couple of minutes. White knocks it out wide. It's all Melbourne. Ferguson. Handball towards the line and over. Ablett appeals for out deliberately, but umpire Wen says throw it in. There's Gary Ablett pleading with umpire Wen. He wants nothing to do with it. Boundary throw in half forward for Geelong. Melbourne by three points. What a stirring victory this would be for the Demons. White out of the centre. It's all Geelong. Tenace bangs along to the goal square. Kingsley can't take it. A chance well done, Maloney getting back to help. Kick on the outside of the boot. Davy needs to be clean here with his hands. Handball was cut down by Bartel. Davy dancing on the spot. Kicks towards Godfrey Cartmark. Chance for Ling. Going hard at it, Reed. He takes it over and. Oh, oh, oh that's a terrible decision. <laughs> that's a terrible decision. He was running at full tilt, Ling with the free kick. Drives it inside 50, Bizzle tracks back with it. This is where courage and skill is required. Johnson, oh. the men in blue came for him. He was wrapped up. <laughs> Very lucky Steve Johnson. Had time to release the handballs and was tackled. Here's this is the great. deliberate. Oh, you, can't, you can't pay that, he was running full tilt. Picked it up at less than a metre inside the line. Siren could go any second. Over the top. Travis Johnston needs to handle it cleanly. He can't. They go to ground. Burns. Ablett in the full forward. Which way? Wrong way. Wrong way for Geelong and for Ablett. 30 minutes gone. That could be it. Two points the difference. Hearts in mouth stuff. Melbourne lead. They were 34 points down. 17 minutes into the second quarter. And now the ball's back in play. Long towards halfback. Big pack of players. Melbourne off hands. Concedes ground Bartel. Now a chance to look. He kicks to attacking 50. Egan. Egan's marked on attacking 50. He needs to be careful. The Soren could go at any point. He's going to go back. He wants to kick a goal, Matthew Egan. Oh, there it my is. Goodness. He, there it is. It's all over. Matthew Egan with a chance to win the game for the Cats. Could he be the hero? The youngster. Unbelievable performance. He'll need to kick it from 52 metres. Draft pick number 62 back a couple of years ago from 55. He loads up. It's going. It's going. It's offline. Melbourne have won. Melbourne have won a dramatic game of football. What a comeback. What a game at Skilled Stadium. Unbelievable scenes here, Stephen Silvani. Oh, what a fantastic win by the Demons. This has been a Fox Footy production for Fox Sports.